Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this awesome, super fast mini PC. This is a Ryzen 5 5600U. I've already tested a 5560U and it was already super fast, but this is supposed to be even faster than that. It comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of m2 ssd which makes it also super fast it has also all the connections which you need like wi-fi bluetooth supports up to three displays a lot of people are using mini pcs just for streaming but this one is capable to do much more for you even gaming so i'm going to take it out of the box show you everything what you get how to do the setup and then test it with some office and also some gaming applications so here we have the back of the packaging with some additional information let's open see what we get comes nicely protected comes also with some instructions manual i think there's nothing special i mean it's a mini pc and they are usually very easy to use there's mainly some instructions about the vesa mount so how we can mount it in the back of a tv so here's the mini pc really nice beautiful has a lot of openings for ventilation also really good information that it's not advised to connect to the Wi-Fi during the setup. And so here in the back we have the audio jack and two times USB 3.0 and USB-C which is for data and video. So we have three video outputs in total. Here's the microphone, then the really large opening for the ventilation. And here in the front we have another USB-C which is a power input which is also really nice to see that. Then we have two LAN ports, one is 1 GB and one is 2.5 GB. Then we have HDMI and DP, so these are the other two monitor ports. And then two times USB 2.0, which is perfect for mouse and keyboard and other stuff. So really nice as everything. What we need comes also with this soft rubber feet and of course the VESA mount. And this is how we open it from the bottom to add like a 2.5 inch hard disk. So we just remove these screws and then we can easily open. There's no connection to the computer, so we have easy access. This is what I like. And so we have plenty of space to add 2.5 inch hard disk, or we can upgrade the M2 SSD. And of course also upgrade the RAM if it's needed. So let's check on the accessories. So here we have the connector cable for a possible hard disk. Screws for the VESA mount. AC power cable and power supply. And a full size HDMI cable. And the VESA mount itself. And so we are ready here for the boot up process and we hit the on button and so this brings us automatically to the screen where we can select the language and the keyboard language and the next screen is the wi-fi setup so we uncheck here and say i don't have internet that's important continue is limited setup and accept after that just the standard questions there are a couple of them very easy to do and we are ready here and now, of course, it's time to connect to the internet. We turn on Wi-Fi, click on Next, and we are connected now. Also, one important thing a lot of people forget after installing Windows is to adjust the date and time. I mean, a lot of things are working, but many programs experience some problems when you don't have the right time. And now we can start to update Windows 11, which is highly recommended, and also download all the software which you need, like games and Office software. For the update, we hit the Windows key and type update, and then it's checking for update. It's recommended to do all the updates, and this process can take many hours, so it's not recommended to do any gaming or performance testing during this time. But you can already start to download and install your software and even use some office software and browsing of course and so let's go a little bit closer here and check for the system information we can clearly see 5600u and it comes with windows 11 pro full license 16 gigabytes of ram 
And we have also confirmation about the 512 gigabytes of ROM. Of course, there's already something used for the Windows system, but there's plenty of space to install a lot of games and other software. So I've installed everything. So let's do a couple of tests here. I have Chrome browser with 10 open tabs. And so let's see how fast we can switch the tabs. Watch this thing here. This is absolutely instant there is zero delay you can see i can switch and switch and switch and there is no load time and on every page i can scroll up and down with absolutely no delay as you can see there is no load time also here absolutely perfect and of course with so much cpu power it's absolutely no surprise that we can also zoom in zoom out in google 3d maps and move this thing around with absolutely no delay and of course no question that we can open and use like office programs like nothing i mean we could have even 10 such programs open and it would still work because the processing power is absolutely mind-blowing and so it's no big surprise that we can even run some of the latest games in good quality. I'm here on PUBG and you can see there are absolutely no delays. I can run and jump and look around and no matter what I do, everything is nice and smooth. And especially here on Rackfest, you can see I'm on 1080p and the quality settings are on medium, which is pretty high. And so you can see when I'm in the live play, there are absolutely no lags, no delays, no nothing just awesome play as you can see and i'm all the time at around 35 frames with such high quality such a, a lot of details this is something which i've never seen before on a mini pc and here also rocket league you can see 1080p around medium settings here in the video and we are on a whopping 155 frames per second this is absolutely crazy watch this quality here yeah this is something which i've never seen before on a mini pc and not only the quality of the game is fantastic also how quiet this mini pc is sometimes especially when we start the game we can hear sometimes a little bit like a wind noise from the fan when it starts spinning but after that it quiets down and so it's almost impossible to hear anything i can feel there's a little bit of hot air coming out here in the back but the good thing is underneath it's absolutely cold so it doesn't affect any surface and even though I have the speaker now on very low, I can't hear the fan really from here. So it's just a one time thing at the beginning and after that it's gone. So absolutely awesome also regarding the noise. Of course it gets a little bit warm but not super hot. I never had any lags. So probably while doing office work or so you will never hear the fan. And because the performance is so good, I'm doing even here a benchmark test for you. And so here we have the end result and that's absolutely mind-blowing. We have a desktop rating of 90% nuclear submarine, something which I've never seen before on a mini PC. We have even a gaming result as a surfboard, also something which I've never seen and even some decent workstation result. But of course, uh, here the desktop, the most impressive thing. And when we go down, I can prove that it's not just a fake result. AMD Ryzen 5600 u and because it's such a good implementation it says performing way above expectation so if you want to double check the results it's 59450449 so i think we have covered now most of it so definitely full recommendation from my side and so if you're interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time